Hi, we're students at the University of Melbourne. Um, we're here at the encampment to show our solidarity with Gaza. Now we're here at Melbourne Uni camping out in solidarity with the Palestinian people and in protest of Melbourne Uni's ties to apartheid Israel. My name is Emily. Um, I'm an NTU member at the University of Melbourne. The university has been re repeatedly confusing confusing to us. Um, they, have been, they haven't been transparent about their ethnic and recent policies. They have not been transparent about uh, whether they will be divesting from all of these representatives on campus. I'm a trade unionist from Palestine member. I'm also an early education uh, worker, member of United Workers Union. Um, do you think it's particularly yeah. important to do support? Um, you know, these institutions have multi million dollar contracts weapons of liberation. Uh, in, in a sense, staining students' uh, degrees in life. Um, I think it's important that um, students, staff and union members come down to support the encampment, um, camp out with us overnight if you can. Um, I think union members have a huge stake in what's happening um, in Gaza, um, especially union members at the university. They have not been having any yes. conversation with us recently, and so this is a show of course that the community and the students are not going to be um, treated like this anymore, we're not going to be silenced anymore, we're not going to be ignored anymore. We need to be workers and students hand in hand to boycott, divest and sanction Israel and break the connection that UniMel has um, to support and end the genocide in Palestine. Our university is complicit in the ongoing genocide that's happening in Palestine and students across the world from New York, uh, Columbia Uni to Australia, Sydney University and now Melbourne University are standing uh, up and fighting back in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Hi, I'm Tim Reid, Greens MP for Brunswick and I'm really pleased to be here on day one of the Uni Melbourne Palestine encampment at the South Florida Melbourne University. We know that all universities in Gaza have been destroyed um, in what has now starting to be called a scholasticide. Appallingly, the University of Melbourne has financial relationships and educational relationships with some of the companies involved in this bloodshed. Uh, like Lockheed Martin, BAE Systems, Rose Bank, Boeing, just to name a few, there's a lot more. Um, but that's why we're here. Completely inappropriate for an educational institution connected to Personally, as a student, I would rather see you know um, institutions that I study with um, put their efforts towards you know health, uh, put their efforts towards um, designing sustainable ecological infrastructure and um, you know social institutions, not weapons. It's also important that it's begun on Anzac Day. I'm really proud of the students for doing this because Anzac Day, if you talk to anyone in Australia, there is a time for reflection on the utility and the cost and the horror of war. And that's exactly what's happening in Gaza right now. Camping out demands that the University of Melbourne uh, cuts all its contracts so that it is not complicit in the genocide of Palestinians. Um, I also think as union members we value um, collective action, we value uh, solidarity, um, and we value, um, you know, we have principles of justice. And we're going to stay here as long as it takes to uh, get the university to come down and you know, divest and have a conversation. Uh -huh. So come down to camp, we are seeing student movements on fire everywhere around the world, started on Turtle Island in the, in the US. It's very contagious and here in Melbourne, in Nam, uh, we are starting it.